What's up, y'all? Um, I'm gonna get into some of this little 11 11 Porter energy to see what's going on, and I'm about to look it up because I think it's Friday. Look up what the word I mean, the number means, and then maybe look up like what, what it means and all of that other stuff. It says 11 11 in numerology. Some new age believers really. <laughs> Google is such a fucking fluke. <laughs> new age believers also often link 1111 to chance or coincidence. It is an example of synchronicity. For example, for instance, those who are seeing 1111 on a clock often claim it as a auspicious sign or signaling of spirit presence. I'm I'm getting my intuition right now that something about a half truth or somebody only told you the half truth because i'm picking up like half truths energy off of the what off of what i just read like g shit it's like they tried to make it seem like what we believe in is um bogus or it's not true or like what i'm what i'm doing ain't true or it's like somebody think you you put in some sort of illusion on who you are because they don't understand your change. They don't understand that people can change. They don't understand that change exists because they haven't changed. They still in the same old cycles. And I feel like this 1111 portal is gonna open up. I think, I thought it said something about love and twin flame connections and, and shit like that. So I'm gonna talk about that. And it says uh, your guardian angel, angels are sending you a message and are wanting you to know that your thoughts as a number of self-mastery and sovereignty sovereignty means to take control of your own life so i'm also picking up too when, when it comes to this what's going on in your love life as far as your relationship you need to understand that you can be free and still be in a relationship you need to be in a relationship with somebody that you can enjoy not only your time with them but they can also understand that time to yourself is valuable but we're gonna get into some of these energies y'all and see what's going on i don't know how long this video gonna be but we will see i'm picking up something about flowers flowers you may love flowers this person may buy you flowers I'm also picking up too. Somebody may work at a restaurant, and whoever this person is, I just heard secret admirer. They can come to this restaurant you work at all the time, and, and it's like they always leave you a generous tip. And you may be thinking this is just a nice person, but little do you know this person actually want to invest in you. I'm hearing big investment. Like I mean, this person always leaving generous tips. And look, I didn't even realize that this card. That I bought, it says Intuitive Envisions 11.11. So it says just a little bit. Oh, and it say tip. Bro, I told y'all I'll be needing these cards. And y'all saw me shuffling. Y'all hear me shuffling. So listen, I don't know. I feel like somebody worked at the Coca-Cola factory. They may drive a truck or they drive trucks or something like that. And it says tip. Now, my mind is going, you know, that way. I'm hearing the tip of this. You know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Don't mind me. I'm so immature when we start talking about stuff like that. I got admiring you. Adore. Eyes of desire. I told you you had a secret admirer. Somebody watching you. This may be somebody with brown eyes. This person could have long hair or take take it how it resonates. You might be admiring somebody like this. Or you could be the person that's giving somebody tips trying to get their attention. This person may seem unavailable emotionally and physically. Or I just feel like this could be somebody that's single. Both of y'all are single. I'm hearing too somebody. Both of y'all are um, mirroring each other. I'm also hearing too. Um... Somebody do something on the internet. Because this say media room. And it says color and movie night. But I just feel like you're the one being watched. Like you ain't the one in the room watching them. If y'all get what I'm saying. 
you the one on TV. You the one being watched. It's like you're the center of attention or something like that. What a spirit. What else? I feel like y'all gonna have some really high vibrational sex. I'm hearing high vibing sex. Like you could y'all could even get high before y'all have sex. Take that high resonate. This ain't gonna be for everybody. And hopefully you ain't no child coming on my channel because I'm not a child and we don't talk to children here. We talk to grown ass people, grown people, okay? And it says fantasizing, thinking of you, sexual thoughts. Then I just said something about y'all sex. I mean, you could tell when God in the room because these cards just fall out as soon as I say what I'm saying. So for anybody that feels like you a fake or you a fraud, fuck them. That's why you about to walk into your abundance. That's why you finna get real love. That's why you finna get real money, generational wealth. That's why you're able to enjoy and reap the benefits of this portal opening for twins and soulmates. Because you've done the growth. Yeah. People feel like you putting on the show. Or somebody could be coming back. A karmic could be coming back. Talk about how it is me again. Want another chance. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. And I feel like this is how you going to be acting towards this person. Like laughing like, bro, get out of here. This person literally drained you. I feel like all they wanted was sex. That's probably all they coming back for. That candy, that sweet stuff. They going to be very persuasive. You probably going to be tempted. But spirit is telling you to stay away from that. Because you got somebody here that's willing not only to invest in you sexually and be in and all up on you but this person gonna be all up on you spiritually emotionally they ain't gonna like you for your booty they gonna like you for your be beauty and i don't mean just the beauty on the outside y'all get what i'm trying to say some of y'all could have some really big booties out here or some of y'all boys y'all um men out there y'all probably like women with big booties okay Give me about two more cards, and then I'm going to move on to the tarot. Oh, maybe I don't need two more cards. Okay, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. So Y'all could be um communicating with each other in the 5D. This could be somebody you haven't even met yet. And y'all are communicating with each other in the 5D. Yeah, my left ear feels like somebody just pulled on it. Like, you and this person could be thinking about y'all and thinking about each other. And y'all don't even know each other yet. Y'all could even be tr praying for each other. I'm getting to, if you're a feminine, I don't know why I just see you planning on what you can do to make this person life better. It's like you already planning. And it don't got nothing to do with money. got everything to do with spiritually. It's like you want to help this person raise their vibration. I also feel, too, you guys are going to help each other raise each other's vibration. What I said... The Knight of Wands. This speaks to passion. This could also speak to you. Sellers, some, somebody here beats the drums. Or I'm, I'm seeing somebody who probably used to beat drums when they was in church or something like that. But I feel like you walking away from this Knight of Wands energy when it comes to your love life. People who come in for a good time, not a long time. I feel like you wished on a star. You wish for better. You, you've you been hoping and praying that you find somebody who genuinely loves you. Somebody who not just want to use you for sex or use you for money or use you because you the life of the party. I feel like, too, whoever you just walked away from, they could be somebody that's the life of the party. They like to get a lot of attention. They got a lot of pride and ego. Look, you got the king and the queen of pentacles right here. I feel like you you guys are gonna meet each other and some it's like y'all could already be bosses spiritually or y'all could be bosses physically or one or the other but whatever it is it's gonna be a balance and I also feel like this is gonna come out of nowhere because if you notice these two cards, these people got their back turned on each other. Or somebody could just begin off a divorce getting out of out of a divorce. Or something like that. And you could have walked away with some sort of alimony or something like that. Or this person could have been very controlling. And it's just how the cards came out. Because if they came out dick like this.
that would have been a totally different story. You and this new person could also be opposites. Like I said, opposites attract. This is, this is a black woman. This is a white man. Take it how it resonates. Could be a white woman and a black man. But it don't matter. Somebody watching this hard. Somebody watching you hard. They're being very analytical. It's like, I, I, I feel like this person is daydreaming. Like, look, I forgot. Yeah, you got fantasizing. This person can have blue eyes. Or you can have blue eyes. They can have brown eyes. Switch it. Something about they're going to love to see you in lingerie. It's like they're going to love to see you. I'm hearing something about the naked truth. And it's not about seeing you naked on a sexual level. It's about seeing you naked in your purest form. It's like I'm seeing, I'm, I'm hearing something about strip the soul naked or the naked soul. You guys' souls are going to intertwine very well. And if you notice, these two people are different too. I'm also picking up some jealous energy, some stalking energy. You could have been in hermit mode at this time. Okay. I'm also picking up too. You could have just walked away from like baby daddy energy. I got the two of wands. So decisions. I feel like you're about to be faced with some sort of choice between a king of swords, somebody who was very manipulative, not very committal. That's how the magician is. Or if you do get the magician in the love ring, this somebody who is about to settle down because they learned their mistakes from that type of shit. And it's like they only got their eyes set on you. I'm also feeling too, you guys are manifesting each other. It's like y'all getting closer and closer. As the moon cycles go on, y'all getting closer and closer. Somebody's buried in their work or they preparing something for you. It's like they working hard to make some extra money to maybe take you somewhere because this dude talk about traveling. You guys could also live in two different countries or something about foreigners. But I feel like I'm hearing something about well-established. Somebody is going to be very well-established. I feel like this has something to do with fate. Luck is on your side. You could feel like you had to stand still right now. You could even be feeling like, man, like you just want to walk away from all those emotions and how you feel because you, you just keep hearing it. You keep hearing it. You just keep hearing it. You keep feeling it. But it's like the person isn't here yet. But baby, listen, that wheel is turning and everything happened in divine timing. I'm hearing something about roll the dice. So you could be a gambler. I'm also hearing to be careful with that. But I do feel like something is going to happen miraculously for you here. The higher front also talks about marriage. So somebody could be trying to about to surprise you with like a proposal. So if you are with somebody and these are the energies you're feeling for this person, you know, take the energy how it resonates. Somebody finna propose or when y'all get together, this is this relationship is gonna move fast. Like they're gonna propose to you faster than 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 you think. I'm also hearing something about they're hearing they're they're listening to the inner calling. It's like they know you the one. Boy, they ain't never lied when they said a man know if you the one before they even yeah, just like a woman. I got the sun card peeking out the dick right here. Oh, and I got the emperor, the divine um, masculine. I feel like this is something you dreamed about. And I'm also getting to something about when pigs fly. It's like you feeling like you just hearing it over and over and over and it ain't here. And it's like, it's killing you. You get anxious. Calm down. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I feel like, too, this is something you dreamed about. I could also feel like, I also feel like you're walking into your um, divinity. Something about walking into divinity, playing your cards right. This is also somebody that's going to help you with some, something about establishment. So if you are working on something, I feel like this person may want to invest into this business. If you got a business that you got going on. I also feel like, too, this relationship is not going to be based off of money. But it's going to come with money because that's money, power, respect. 
y'all gonna have it all. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely feel rushed. Like, cause I be feeling like maybe I've been making my videos too long, but you know what? Some of them gonna be long, some of them ain't gonna be that long. When spirit got me talking, I just be talking. I got healing, fertility. So somebody may be getting pregnant really fast. I feel like this person is going to feel like you're very rare. This is going to be a mature relationship. Very free-flowing. I was just talking about that in the beginning. Where you feel free in a relationship and not controlled. Look, you got the flamingos here. And guess what that first word say? Soulmates. Lovers, union, courtship. I feel I feel somebody moving. Also, too, you could be have seen eleven eleven a lot, or you could have been seeing eleven twenty two, or two eleven a lot. You could be a Virgo. This person could be not a Virgo. I didn't even mean to say Virgo, so it could be a Virgo. I meant to say Taurus or Earth sign or Pisces. I'm also hearing Cancer and Gemini here. Take the energies how they resonate. These could have been people you just walked away from or these people that you're walking into. I feel like I'm talking to somebody that may be single, though. You could be feeling very lonely. It's like you're ready. But while you're getting ready, prepare yourself. What it is? What else can you do to grow in the meantime? Have you ever thought about that? What can you do different? Where can you improve yourself? Why are you waiting on this abundance to come in? Because sometimes that's what have us stuck. Stuck on stupid, I just heard. We be stuck on stupid. Stuck on worrying. Stuck, stuck on all everything that is an illusion. Because if you the magician, you co-create with the universe. You see what this person doing? This person is a god. On a good day. You know, in the upright. This is number one. So you could be a leader. Somebody who leads, take the lead. You take control, yeah, with the emperor here. Very controlling energy. It's like you know how to get what you want. You got the gift of gab. You're also very protected. And I feel like the things you do, you do them for the for the better yourself. Not only yourself, but other people. I'm also picking up on two separate languages here. So somebody could speak two languages. You could be bilingual. I feel like you're about to celebrate something soon, though. Whatever this is, whoever this is, this person is going to make you very happy. You guys are going to be very happy together. I got discipline, working smart, focus, structure, control. I don't even got to say nothing. You're just coming out for confirmation. Jess was talking about that. I feel like this, this person is going to be, like, on your bumper, like... <laughs> this person is going to be very direct. They know what they want. And they see what they like. And that's you, baby. And they don't got no, eye, they don't got no eyes on nobody else but you. I got old car. So maybe you guys are about to get a new car. Maybe this person could be retired. Or something about they want to retire you early. Or early retirement. I'm also hearing too, I just told y'all, clean up, clean, clean. You could need to clean up physically or clean up your act or something about whatever you're doing while you're waiting. You could be improving yourself because you're feeling a little nostalgic. And maybe some of you got to break out of these um, parental um, habits. I don't know why I just said that. Family habits, generational curses, those things that stay stuck in the family that you're trying to get rid of. I feel that you're healing though. Some of you guys may even have a cat. But I do definitely feel like y'all tired of waiting. I'm finna get the fuck up out of here. It's gonna be 20 minutes. I got earn and um curtain call. So automatically, I just feel like somebody finna pop out. This person may be famous. Somebody just went through a death. Oh, somebody just went through a rebirth and they're going through a transformation. You might, you, you're probably about to walk into fame. That's why you got this here. It's like you've been manifesting this. Or y'all, y'all's relationship is going to be very public. I'm hearing too, it's going to inspire a lot of people. And I feel like both of y'all are going to be two private people, but it's like y'all relationship going to be public, but private. And a lot of people going to love y'all. 
I feel like this person gonna miss you while you gone and it's gonna be the same. It's like y'all mirroring each other. It's like <laughs> I'm also too saying that um I'm hearing like watch out for old people, old hags, old exes trying to come back and say shit and do shit to try to ruin whatever it is y'all got going on because it's just gonna cause setbacks and you know the devil comes sneaking in right before you get blessed so be careful okay i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video i really appreciate y'all for y'all time everything y'all need will be in the description box so like the video don't forget and subscribe share with somebody if you feel called to and again i love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Mm. Ooh. Bye. Ooh, y'all ain't even see the... You know what? It's about the message, okay? <laughs>